What's going on guys and cows? Maddie back again. Got something special for you guys today. This actually may be a YouTube first. We're taking a look at the Outdoor Vitals Loftec Hybrid Underquilt. This is the zero degree model. I'm super stoked to show you guys this. So let's roll that intro and take a look. from the intro i love hiking and backpacking that's what my channel is all about we talk a ton of gear we talk a ton of habit camping stuff here if that interests you guys at all click on the subscribe button over there and like i said we're diving into the outdoor vitals loft tech hybrid under quilt we're going to dive into all the stats and specs on this thing rip this thing out of the stuff sack and get going yeah obviously this thing comes in a stuff sack The weight on the stuff sack, for anybody wondering, is a half an ounce. When I first got it, it did take a little bit for the quilt to loft up. I'm assuming that that's because it was stored in the stuff sack for quite a bit. Before we jump into the stats and specs and get into the review on this quilt, I'm going to start out by saying that yes, Outdoor Vitals did send me this quilt to check out. I did not pay for it. It was sent to me. You're going to get my full, completely 100% honest review on this thing. Um, I'm not giving a, a good review just because they sent me the quilt. I just want to be fully transparent with the review on this thing. Out here, let's talk about the specs a little bit. It's a 20D inner and a 20D outer for the material. It's a ripstop material. The quilt that I have is the regular length. They also have a long. The regular length is six feet long by 44 inches wide. And the long version is six foot six inches long. The same 44 inches wide at the longest part. Uh, you can see it does have a bit of a taper to it. I did make a video recently about how to set up an underquilt and I used this underquilt in making that video and I completely admit I put the underquilt on completely backwards. I didn't realize uh, as I was setting it up how extreme the taper is towards this end. I just I wasn't paying enough attention to it so uh, I had actually put it on backwards but I didn't notice it because I'm actually so freaking narrow in the shoulders I didn't even realize that this is the foot end down here. The easiest way to tell that, that this is the foot end and it was actually pointed out to me by someone in the comment section is the foot end of the quilt is where you're going to have the tag and the Outdoor Vitals logo. So that is worth pointing out. Uh, I know not everybody is going to be as freaking narrow as I am but uh, yeah my mistake I'm fully owning it and yeah I just thought I would point that out. Like I said, they come in two different sizes, the regular and the long. They also come in three different temperature ratings. You've got the zero degree, which I have. They also have a 15 degree and a 30 degree. And with those temperature ratings comes their color system. Now, Outdoor Vitals doesn't offer a ton of different customization options, which is another kind of a drawback to some people. One of the big things in the hammock camping thing is being able to completely customize your setup. And a lot of the custom cottage vendors offer tons of different fabric and color options. These guys, for this model quilt, they offer single color options. So for the zero degree, you get it in green. For their 15 degree, you get it in blue. And their 30 degree, it comes in red. That's also the standard color system that they use for all of their insulation across the board. So for their sleeping bags, their top quilts, their red is their 30 degree, their blue is their 15 or their 20 degree, and their zero is their green. As with most under quilts, you've got your full suspension system. That actually is one of the cons, and I am going to talk about that a little bit later. I did alter my suspension a tiny bit, but like I said, we'll talk about that when we get to hanging this thing up on the hammock. Another thing, super cool, super standard on under quilts, you do have baffles on either end, which helps seal in around you, so it'll seal around your feet and around your shoulders. Helps keep that heat in. Great feature to have. We're going to talk about weights a little bit. I'm only going to talk about the weights for the zero degree model because that's what I have, but Outdoor Vitals lists the regular size zero degree model at two pounds, nine ounces. And they list the long version at two pounds, 11 ounces. When I weighed it on my scale at home, this quilt here comes in at two pounds, eight ounces. That's without the included stuff sack. So as I said, the stuff sack comes in at half an ounce. So two pounds, eight and a half ounces gets me pretty close to the two pound, nine ounce mark. So that could just be a differential between the scale that I use and the scale they use, but my weights are pretty comparable. So when it comes to hooking this up on your hammock, it does come with an included S beaner. The only thing that I've done to change this is I pulled the gate off the one end of the S-Beaner. That just makes taking it on and off my continuous loops that much easier. This being a winter rated underquilt and a lot of the temperatures I go into are pretty ridiculously cold. So uh, I don't want to be fiddling around with that little metal gate. And what I've noticed in the past with underquilts before is sometimes this little metal gate can freeze and it's kind of a pain to get undone. So I pulled the gate off, makes clipping it on and off my continuous loops super easy. Now that we got this thing up on the hammock and you see how nice it lofts up and how poofy it gets, Let's talk about the fill materials a little bit. 
As I said at the start, this is a Loftec hybrid underquilt. What that means, the Loftec is actually a synthetic insulation. So this is 80% synthetic fill on the inside of this quilt and 20% down. The down percentage is an 800 fill power hydrophobic treated down, which means it's got a water repellent coating on it. So if it gets wet, the water is going to shed off the down and the down is still going to be able to maintain some of its loft and keep you warm. And the 80% Loftec insulation in this is a synthetic insulation Outdoor Vitals has developed which basically mimics all of the amazing properties of down. So it's got the compressibility, the compactability, the lightweight nature, but being synthetic, it's gonna keep you warm if this thing gets wet, making this an amazing option for somebody living in a really wet, humid environment. Being synthetic, it's also a lot cheaper. This quilt here, the regular version at the zero degree model, comes in at just under $140 US, which is pretty crazy to think that you can get a zero degree underquilt for 140 bucks US. Me being Canadian, this comes in at under 200 bucks Canadian, which is absolutely huge. Getting a down under quilt at a zero degree rating, I'm looking at spending anywhere between four to 500 bucks. So coming in at less than half the cost, that is a huge win for me. Or Outdoor Vitals does outsource their work. So this is made in China. And I'm just gonna show you guys, the stitching on this thing is absolutely amazing. I have not found a single loose stitch. I have not found any loose threads. I have not found any insulation popping through. I would say this is just as good quality as any of the cottage vendor quilts and already any of the cottage vendor uh, stuff that I have picked up. So yeah, I would say this is just as comparable in workmanship as any of the cottage vendor stuff that I've got. So temperature wise, does this stack up to its rating? For me personally, it totally does. Now I'll say I too tend to be a bit of a warm sleeper, but I have taken this quilt on its own down into minus 15 Celsius, which is getting into the low single digits. Like I think that's about four Fahrenheit. If I'm wrong, I'll put that number up top. But like I said, I've taken this down to minus 15 Celsius on its own. No supplemental insulation underneath me. I was not cold whatsoever. Laying here right now in my yard, it's about minus 10 Celsius right now. My back is toasty warm. I have zero complaints about the temperature rating on this thing. I do have a sleeping bag from Outdoor Vitals, a 20 degree summit model. And much like that, very true to its temperature rating. So. I can say with confidence Outdoor Vitals does rate their quilts very well when it comes to the temperature rating. I know you guys are probably sitting there thinking, Maddie, this sounds just like a glowing review. These guys probably paid you off to give them just an ultra positive review. And that's not what we're doing here. There are some things that I really didn't like about the quilt when I first got it. Uh, the first thing being the color. Now, me myself, as you guys have probably been able to tell from some of my gear, I do kind of love my blue and orange color scheme that I've got going on. So not being able to customize and pick a color option for this is kind of a downer for me, but at the price point, I really can't complain. Now, I know the colors may not be a huge deal to some people, and at this price point, I don't know why it would be a big deal to anybody, but I did think that's worth mentioning. That is kind of one of the drawbacks of it. You really don't get to pick a whole lot of color options. Like I said at the start, Outdoor Vitals has four, well, I guess they technically have four different color options because on their down under quilts that they make, they come with a black exterior and then the interior is where you get your different color ratings. So like I said, red for 30, blue for 15, green for zero. We'll talk about one of the bigger issues that I had with the underquilt when I first got it. Let's go to the foot end suspension and I'll talk about that. So as I've already pointed out, you've got your, your s beaner at the end here and then you've got your two cords coming off the end of that underquilt. You've got your primary that runs all the way through the channel, loops down to the other end. Now, when I originally got the underquilt, the way the suspension system worked is this looped up and it looped around the s beaner and then came directly back to here. What Outdoor Vital says is one of the advantages of that is you can take, you could take the underquilt and you could basically slide it up and down along your hammock, whichever way you wanted it. And it basically worked as a channel suspension. Now, for me personally, I just, I just don't like the channel suspension method. I much prefer the primary and dedicated secondary suspension. So what I ended up doing on my under quilt is I took a little bit of extra shot cord and I cut it at the end, set the height of my primary, and then I tied an extra loop of shot cord, as you can see by the knot here, and ran a dedicated secondary suspension line. So my under quilt, every time I hang it, now it is perfectly set in place. I don't have to do any adjusting to it. That's just a personal preference to me. And I did think it's worth pointing out because most cottage vendor under quilts come with a primary secondary suspension setup. So if somebody much prefers that method, you may want to think about that and maybe pick up a little bit of shock cord when you grab one of these underquilts. We got it guys and gals. There's my thoughts on the Outdoor Vitals Zero Degree Loftec Hybrid Underquilt. Is this going to be my underquilt of choice going forward? 
Yeah, it actually is. I uh, I honestly, I didn't have a winter rated underquilt before Ultra Vital sent this to me. So this has totally opened up winter hammock camping for me, which has been huge. Like I said, I've had this out in minus 15 Celsius already. Has kept me nice and toasty warm. I've had this out on some backpacking trips already. I'll put a link in the cards up for you guys for my most recent trip that I had this quilt out with. Yeah, if you guys got any questions about this quilt at all, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. I would love to help you guys out as always. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I'm probably going to curl up and have a little nap here. And you know, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. As always, I am Maddie. Thank you guys so dang much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one. You're ruining my shot here, pretty girl. I know, you're beautiful. I know. I know, you love hammock camping. But you're, oh, you guys both love hammock camping. Hey, Remy. I know, you guys are ruining my shot though. I'm trying to shoot a YouTube video here. You're not helping. Living with dogs. Awesome.